Good day and welcome to another episode of Life in Japan. Today we're down here at the Daihatsu dealer to have a look at some Ks. So Ks are very popular in Japan and Daihatsu would be the biggest maker of Ks. Other manufacturers have Ks but they don't make as many. Daihatsu mainly that's all they make. They have bigger cars but they're badged from Toyota. So anyway, I thought we'd have a look today. So what is the advantage of buying a K over, an, over a bigger car? So in May we have to pay a car tax, which is like a registration. So if you have a bigger car, it's going to cost you $350 or $400, depending on the size of the car. Where K's only cost $100. So you're saving either $250 or $300 straight off. Then, every two years you have to pay a car tax. The car tax for a bigger car costs you between, usually around $1,000 to $1,200. A K will cost you five to $600, so it's half price. Also, with a bigger car, if you want to buy one, you have to put in a parking permit to the police. They come out and have a look at your house to see if you can park your car there, if you've got enough room. K's you don't need a parking permit. So there's quite a lot of benefits of buying a K. Plus they're nice and small. A lot of houses don't have a lot of parking room so they're easy to park, just easy to drive, very popular with women. So let's have a bit of a look and see what we can see. Now these are popular around my area with the farming so these you can put 350 kilograms in them these are little high jets they call them a k truck now these are very plain and not really comfortable the seats aren't very comfortable at all as you can see but they're just for work there's not nothing flash about these you know, now they're putting, they, they do have air conditionings in them now. Before they never used to have air conditioner. But these are very cheap. So it's $12,000 for one of these. But they're very plain. Good for like farmers and fishermen and things. They can throw all this stuff in the back. Little high jet. Hmm. Yeah. So. Mm, eleven thousand dollars for this so not that expensive not that expensive so these key trucks are really popular with a lot of the older people a lot of farmers and that so this one's a twelve thousand dollars now this is a jumbo they call him a jumbo high jet so this one has keyless entry and it's got this piece here makes it a little bit bigger and a bit higher roof on it but the same they can only hold 350 kilos so this is a high jet jumbo put him a jumbo so because it's got the little extension on the back they have a little it goes under here a little bit but yeah they're pretty plain inside so that's the high jet jumbo here we've got a little move so this is a test drive car so these are quite cheap you can get them for under 10,000 so as you can see they're pretty plain inside it's got a little nabby sort of setup and got electric windows but for a car that costs ten thousand dollars, it's pretty reasonable. In the back here, so quite a lot of leg room in the back. If you sit in the back, it has got a lot of leg room. So for a little car, they're quite good. They you can only have four people in these cars. You can't put five. Case can only do four people but they're not a bad little car
disc brakes on the front. So you can tell the K's, they got the yellow plates on them. So Daihatsu mainly make K's. This here next door is a Daihatsu, but it's not a Daihatsu, it's a Toyota. It's just badged as a Daihatsu. So this one would cost you 20,000. So these are very popular, these ones. Same thing. You can open them up. Hmm. So this is quite nice inside. Got all climate control. Doesn't have Navi or anything, it's got a radio in it. Yeah. Has a sliding door on the back. Opens up. Not much boot space in these, very tiny, but they're very popular with women, with children and that. Going doing the shopping and driving the kids around, they're fine. So it's like a little a little van. Very square. So quite nice. These are very popular. Same with this one. This is a Rocky, they call it a Rocky. It's still it's another Toyota. It's over 20,000 this one. They have these in hybrids. They get quite good fuel consumption. Oh, this is quite nice inside. Really nice. Little touch screen up top. Nice seats. All climate control, nice dash. Cruise control and everything on it. Yeah, these are really quite nice. Not bad in the back. Hmm. So, so these are like white plate cars. So these are five numbers. Yeah, five numbers. Here we got a little. Here we have a little K convertible. So you've got dual pipes at the back. So a little little convertible. It's it's twenty thousand for this. Just a little car. You'd have to probably be a bit of a midget to get in it, I'd say. That's a little manual. Nice little setup inside. So yeah, little convertible. Here we have a little van. So it costs you about 16,000 for this. Got Navi and different things in it. Yeah. Inside, very bit plain inside. The seats aren't real comfy. I wouldn't like to be doing a real long trip in them. If we're just running around town and that, they're fine. Got a bit of space in the back. You can put a lot of things in the back here. Hmm. There's another little K. So it's just a little car. Very plain inside. Seats are better than the K truck, but I wouldn't say they're fantastic. Little automatic. What's it cost? Fifteen thousand dollars. This one. Space there. You can put Navi or Apple Play or whatever in it. Hmm. Just a little little car. These are popular with young women and that sort of thing. First car. Here we've got a little TAF. Hmm. All very similar inside. Hmm. That little touch screen thing. 
What's it worth? Yeah, 15,000. So they're not very expensive. Oh, it's got a sunroof. Mm. Yeah, good for small family, you know, wives with kids. Take them to school and pick them up and different things. Very boxy little car. Mm. Yeah. Here we've got a little tanto. These are very popular too. Sliding door. So it makes it easy to put kids in and out. A lot of leg room in the back. It's got little trays here on the back of the thing. You can put it up, have drinks or something to eat. And Nothing in front of the drive rear, all your, all your gauges are way up front there at the window. Place for Navi. A lot of places you can put tissues and different things. Very high roof. My head's nowhere near the roof. Hmm. But quite a nice little car. It's probably around the same, that 15, 16,000, they're all around that sort of price. Here we are at their used car section. So they've got quite a lot of K trucks for sale. These first two are those jumbo ones that we just looked at. Then we just got the normal K trucks here, which are just the small ones. But yeah, a lot to choose from. So these are very popular in the country areas. A lot of people have them for doing their farming and different things like that. Very popular. This is a little bit different. They don't have that many of these around. These are the a little four-wheel drive tipper. So this is twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Now it's thirty. It's about four or five years old, and it's got three thousand eight hundred kilometers on it. But it's a it's a little tipper. Automatic in very good condition very clean so yeah little tipper so if you want a little tip truck here you go 12,000 so that's it for this episode we've had a bit of a look at the K cars I don't know what do you think would you buy one please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on a K if you would if you would like to own one or not I think in Japan they're well suited. The roads are pretty small, there's not a lot of parking. They're easy to get around in. The way now with petrol prices, I think they're pretty good. You know, very fuel efficient. So anyway, please let me know in the comments down below what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you.